Hello, beautiful one. Today, I am going to lead you to the voice of Jesus Christ and also to the eyes of Jesus Christ. There is something very secret, mysterious, and beautiful about the eyes of Jesus Christ, but it is present with you and is near you. But before that, I want to share some contemplation uh, generally about us and the importance of eyes in our human life. Imagine that we go to a place where we don't know about that place or a new country or to a new workplace, new environment. How we accept or understand our acceptability that if people are accepting us or rejecting us we look into the eyes of people that how they are looking at us then we understand that how they are seeing us with our eyes we see entire world even we can see the distant sun the moon and all the stars light years away but we cannot see our own face with our own eyes this is a great irony or a mystery who knows to see our own face we need a mirror or a camera or the eyes of other people in this way what we become in this world is a reflection not a real being even what we call our soul is the reflection or conditioning of other people and so this means that we identify ourselves only that much as it is revealed in the external conditioning that people define us like some picture if people have given like on the Facebook we consider it is good and if it is given not like or something not good then then we feel that it is not good so we define ourselves according to others and there is very one important aspect of Jesus Christ that Jesus once said that allow the children to come near me because the kingdom of heaven belongs to the like of them and there was a time when we were all a children so what happened after that when we were children we were beautiful but then how we become the way we are right now. To understand this, we can take one example of a little Johnny, a little guy named Johnny, a child, whose mom, when he gets ready for the school, the mom says that, Johnny, you look very beautiful. Then Johnny feels proud about himself. And then Johnny goes to the car with his dad and he is very pranky that day and father who is driving he is unable to concentrate on the driving then the father scolds Johnny saying that he is such a such an ill-mannered child and then the same day Johnny goes to the school and the history teacher says that Johnny is an idiot is the most stupid child the history teacher has ever seen and the great thing that has happened that day is that the Maths teacher tells to Johnny that he is the most intelligent child she has ever known in entire school. Now the Johnny at the end of the day is very confused about his own identity because all the voices that he has heard about the people has entered into the depth of his heart and he is unable to understand what it is he is and this is story of all of us. There are so many different kind of voices that has entered into our heart and is working like in conflict there is uncertainty about our life about our, our 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 own self and then if we do any mistake in our life then i will not call it a sin i will call it ignorance and i believe that christ also sees not you as a sinner but yes he understands this ignorance so many images about us about who we are no matter how worldly it may be, the reality of our own eyes, all we see about us is images, is a reflection, is not reality. But 
the world is as if even a reflection because if we go near some animal then the animal also judges us at once everyone anticipates us like we are driving on a, a car on a road and everybody is anticipating our move that how we are moving because we are living in a relative world when we close eyes to find our own reality who we are we find the crowd of all the consciousness different opinion or perception about others towards us and likewise about others in us that we also have perception about others so when we close to search ourselves when we try to meditate within us then we get this mixture of, of who we are but my dear beautiful friend the mirror tells you not about you but it tells you the way mirror is not you like there are different kind of mirrors the plane mirror the concave mirror the convex mirror mirror some mirror near which when you stand you see that you are very fat some mirror near which you stand you see that you are very tall some mirror near which you stand you see that you are very small some mirror makes you ugly some mirror makes you even more beautiful like there are so many app on on the mobile phone in which we take picture it makes us younger and more beautiful so it is not you whom this mirror or this reflection uh, is defining but the way the mirror is seeing you you define the mirror that you say that this is the concave mirror this is the convex mirror this is the plain mirror this is the face app that makes us look old this is also the face app that makes us look young so we 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 don't allow these things to define us although it define us but it is um, not giving us real image it is they are defining themselves so the contemplation here is the voice of of christ the voice of christ when you want to meditate about who you are you will find everything that you are doctor you are engineer you are a a business person you are an artist you are an celebrity you are a politician you are male you are female you are child who you are if you really search for it then you will hear the voice of christ and he will say and you will hear the voice of god that will say i am when jesus made the disciple of abraham jesus told to disciple of abraham that i am then they took the stone and wanted to throw it at jesus in the name of blasphemy but jesus say that even before abraham was born i am because he knows about him he knows his identity independent of other people's opinion or perception about him and this voice of i am is the jesus always present with you and is loving you the eyes of jesus that i was just speaking about this eyes of jesus is this eyes in which there is no judgment for you in which there is no no any kind of opinion about you in which there is that truth that this beauty about you that you are always being loved when you try to meditate then if you meditate you see your own mind the mind as it were is like a reflecting mirror of our soul and uh, in your own mind when you pray or you meditate the mind reflects to a certain extent the power of our soul and your soul or everyone's soul the mirror when our mind this mirror is clear then we see our image even more clear when this mirror is not so clear then we are unable to see our image clear so this is this consciousness is always with you that see you as i am this voice is the voice of the christ with you and then there is a image the eyes that is looking at you that is not judging you that is loving you that is seeing you in the image you are being created the image in which you are created is not just of your body not just your external but the eternal image of you the kingdom of heaven belongs to you this is the good news that the christ was giving to everybody 
So this is you. This is your reality. This is the eyes of Jesus Christ. Eyes of Jesus Christ is always lifted up, like looking in the clouds, like the divinity from which this grace, the sour, is raining over you. And uh, and uh, when He looks in your eyes, it is not to judge you, but but to show you you're really amazed that how beautiful you are. Other people look in your eyes to present their present pers perspective about you. But when Jesus looks in your eyes, it is to show you who you really are. And you see yourself one in the body of the Christ. You see yourself one in the spirit of the Christ. The spirit of the Christ is defined by the word. The scripture says, in the beginning there was a word, and the word was with God. And by this word everything is created. Not even a single thing is without this word. And this word is, is your identity too. This is what you hear in the voice of Jesus, you find that, yes, I am, and you find that you are so beautiful, that you are always being loved. So, this is the eyes of the Christ. Thank you so much for being here. I always pray for you. This is the only reason I make video, that I can pray for you. Thank you so much for your precious time. May God bless you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And finally, Jesus says, listen to me, everyone, and understand this. Nothing outside a person can defile them by going into them. Rather, it is what comes out of a person that defiles them. Here, we can understand this, that nothing outside a person can also define them. No matter whatever anybody says about you, no matter how anybody defines you, no matter what images of you you see anywhere is going to define you. But what comes from within you, from your own heart, the voice of the Christ that comes from within your heart, that is you, that is you are, and the voice of the Christ is speaking to you, that you are beautiful, and you are being loved. Thank you once again. May God bless you.